All right, so one brand that had not made its way into my collection, despite me having dozens of vacuums, was Electrolux, or Arius. And I, I, I mean, it's kind of silly because I just did a video with an Arius. Uh, that was an Arius labeled Kony. This is a Protein Pro Force 1200 XP, which is basically a licensed version of the Lux 4000 or 6000 uprights. I can't recall which. But anyways, it's a dual motor upright, um, which is kind of a, one of the things that Electrolux is known for. They were one of the first to, to make them. Um, uh, what was the for, first one? I think, I don't know if it even had a name. It might have just been the Electrolux upright, or maybe it's like, I don't think it was the Discovery, but it's a very unique looking machine, but they kept kind of developing and iterating on it until they got this design pretty much, and... Then they licensed it to Pro Team, and there are kind of a ton of copycats, so to speak, of this. Like, I know there's the Perfect, and I've seen, like, a, a Pullman Holt version, um, Minuteman version, maybe. Like, there are a lot of these vacuums that look similar to this, but are all slightly different. But let's, let's get in there and take a look at this one. So... And this one I got brand new, um, got it off Allergy Botters Club because they had a pretty good coupon on it. I, I saved like at least 100 bucks, I think. I think it's one of those around like 250 or 280 after the coupon. And for a 300 or 400 dollar vacuum, I think it's, it, it, I think it's worth the money if you're going to buy this thing brand new. I didn't have much luck finding them used and I, I actually, I've never been able to find a used Electrolux in my area. Like, or at any of the thrift stores. Like, I see Kirby's, but I don't see any Electroluxes. Um, but anyways, this one has a... Has a kind of short hose. It does stretch kind of far, but... This is mainly meant to be used, like, while you're vacuuming, like, to get corners and stuff. Not really for, like, stair cleaning or anything like that. And I do find it weird that the, the wand is actually, like, permanently attached. It's a little strange. Um, and something kind of cool about this is that the, kind of like a Felix, the, uh, like, listen closely. If you heard a, like, kind of a metallic click, that was a switch that turns off the brush roll when the hose is out. So, that's a nice feature. Um, yeah, uh, these are basically just solid commercial operates that give you, uh, bare floor switching, like, like any dual motor machine should, in my opinion. Some of them don't. I find that really strange, but yeah, I think this is a pretty solid vacuum. Um, I'm trying to think if I have any complaints with it. I don't like the carrying handle very much. Like, if you look at that, it looks fine, but oh, if you actually look in there, like it has a ton of like sharp pieces of plastic that kind of cut into your fingers. I. I don't know how that got past uh, development. Uh, that's a, I don't know. I feel like that's, that's definitely something I don't like about this machine. Um, it also has a 50 foot cord, which I'm gonna be honest, that is way too much for home use, but I'm not gonna complain because this is a commercial machine and that's, it, it should have a long cord. Um, yeah. Uh, I guess I don't have a ton to say about this machine. It's solid. Um, I don't really have any complaints. You know, you know. Um, it's also got a little indicator set up right down there. Uh, left one is bag full. Middle one means brush rolls running okay. Or no, wait. The yeah. Uh, I guess you can kind of make sense of that. Uh, the right icon means that the brush roll's in trouble. Something's stuck in there. But yeah, I think if you can't, like, if you're a home user, you I'd say you're probably better off getting, like, a SIBO Dart if, like, if you're comparing these. But at the same time, like, I, I think this vacuum is a good value for the money. Um, but it is kind of light on amenities if you're actually using this for home use. But it's still a good vacuum. Without a doubt. And I'll do a quick clean test. Okay. 
very loud question. Well, it does feel heavy in the hand compared to some of the other arthritis I've used tonight, like the SIBO X4 and the Tacony Cordless. Some of that might just be because I have the cord on here, but I don't know, the, these dual motor arthritis can be a little heavy in the hand. That's that's kind of a flaw of the design, because like you basically have a motor right here above the hinge point, like you know, one motor here, one motor here, and I think that way you kind of get the transfer to your hand rather than sitting on the floor, so yeah. But anyways, we'll move on to the next machine, which I believe is, is a canister of some sort. So stay tuned for a canister vacuum.